it was absolutely mortifying to see what I had to see myself go through. It just was the hardest thing I think I've had to deal with as a parent was to know that my son was going through this kind of torture and no matter what I brought to the school, no matter what we did, nothing was changing it. I just felt so destroyed that I would just come home and go straight to bed. I didn't want to look at anybody. I didn't want to talk to anybody. Um, even my mom and my grandparents and my dad, my brother, you know, they would try and talk to me, even if it was just about dinner or whatever, and I would just snap at them because I was just so destroyed and everybody at school was against me. So I was always on the defensive, even when I got home and I knew I was safe. As a mother, I felt, I went from, some, beginning I felt like maybe it wasn't as bad as he was making it. You know, you try to tell your child that, you know, things, you can get through this and you have to be strong. Then I went to seeing him so devastated that I'm hurting. You just feel like you can't protect your own child and that is the hardest feeling in the world. You bring this person into the world and you swear that you'll protect them with all you've got. And I couldn't protect myself. I feel really bad that I couldn't do anything to protect him but take him out of the school. As time went on, it was just like, what did I do to deserve this, you know? Is it, did I say something wrong? Did I do something wrong at school? Did I, it was just trying to find the cause of the problem. I am a lot better, things are a lot better now, but I don't think that my mental state will ever be the same. I think I'm always gonna be looking out, uh, even since then, I should say, I've always been looking out for people who have just been, you know, trying to hurt me, trying to get to me. I'm always still on the defensive. I don't fight with my parents and I don't bite at them as much anymore, but I'm still always, you know, looking behind my back, seeing, you know, who's out to get me. I'm. That's part of my stress too. I'm always stressed out, you know. I always look at the bad still. I don't look for the good in things as much. It's getting better, but it's gonna take time.